What's going on everybody out there? This is Ram Reach to P02 here once again, up here at Humble Hyundai here in North Houston, Texas. And today for y'all's viewing pleasure and entertainment, we have another awesome informative demonstration for you guys today on behalf of the folks here at Humble Hyundai and its two affiliated stores, both North Freeway Hyundai and also Baytown Hyundai down in Southeast Houston. Now, what is our topic for today? Well, it's really quite simple. How do you guys get the most for your money when it comes to making your next big investment? Now, when most people in today's generation talk about making a big investment, they're usually talking about one of two things, either A, buying a place to live, or B, finding yourself a mode of transportation. Well, today we're tackling the lesser of those two, how to save the most money on buying your next new vehicle. So to help me explain this rather large topic a bit more properly, I brought along a couple of friends of mine here, courtesy of the folks here at Uncle Hyundai. On my right, or your left, is a 2015 Hyundai Elantra SE. And on my left, or your right, is a 2014 Hyundai Elantra SE. Now both these cars are pretty much identical. They look the same, they're the same color, they have the same engines, and they both do exactly the same thing in terms of their fuel efficiency, in terms of their safety ratings, in terms of the number of awards that they've won, and so on and so on and so on. Pretty much everything that a person is going to think of when it comes to buying their next new car. But both of these cars have one big difference. This 2015 model is $3,000 more than the 2014. So why is that? Well, we're here to take a deeper look to find out. Now when it comes to your next automotive purchase, most people have two different decisions that they can usually make. For a start, some people think of blowing all of their money and buying a brand new vehicle with pretty much no mileage on it, a full factory warranty, and they can have it at a pretty decent price. Or they can save a little bit of money and buy themselves a nice used car. But most people who buy used cars more often than not say that they're buying somebody else's problem. So how can you get the feeling of a brand new car without spending every dollar you have? Well, that's where cars like this 2014 Elantra come into play because this isn't just any ordinary Elantra. This is a Hyundai certified pre-owned Elantra. It's still a used car, but it comes with a few more little factors that actually play a key role when it comes to buying your next new vehicle. So what are the advantages of buying a certified pre-owned car? Well, let's go ahead and take a deeper look at this 2014 Elantra and find out. So before any auto manufacturer can classify their vehicle as a certified pre-owned vehicle, there usually are a couple of factors that have to come into play beforehand. In Hyundai's case here, the vehicle has to be five years old or less and have done less than 60,000 miles, which sounds like a pretty good deal because that means that a lot of one or two or three year old vehicles that most people will find on the lot can fall under the certified pre-owned vehicle program. Now, in the case of this 2014 Elantra here, this is a prime example of a quality certified pre-owned vehicle. This 2014 Elantra SE has done just over 16,000 miles, so it's well into its infancy. But not only that, there are quite a few extras that actually go along with a certified pre-owned vehicle that are a major benefit over having a brand new vehicle. For a start, you still get the remainder of Hyundai's 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, but it doesn't stop there. You actually can buy, as is the case with a lot of pre-owned vehicles nowadays, you can actually buy what's called an extended warranty. Now, an extended warranty can actually outdo the factory warranty by a couple of different factors. From what we've learned here, you can actually extend the remaining 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty into a 10-year, 100,000-mile bumper to bumper warranty. Now most people are asking right now, what's the difference between a powertrain warranty and a bumper to bumper warranty? Well, there's quite a lot of things. The powertrain warranty usually covers anything involving the engine, the transmission, or any other true mechanical movement component on the vehicle. Now, if you turn it into a bumper to bumper warranty, that means, well, bumper to bumper, top to bottom, front to back, anything on this vehicle with the exception of only a couple of things can and will be covered under that specific warranty. All you have to do, pay the small deductible of the warranty and you're pretty much covered and ready to go. Now, in Hyundai's case, there also are a couple of other things that are also added on to uh, the possible extended warranties and so on that are quite a big benefit over a standard used Hyundai or any other used vehicle. 
For a start, any Hyundai certified pre-owned vehicle goes through a rigorous 150 point inspection. So already your vehicle's been touched quite a lot more than just a standard used car that can go out on the lot that's probably done a lot more miles. On top of that, this vehicle gets a 10 year unlimited mileage roadside assistance program. So everything from a dead battery to a flat tire to maybe even a blown engine, if you happen to be that misfortunate, is actually covered under the roadside assistance plan. Average ETA or estimated time of arrival in Hyundai's case has been about 30 minutes or less versus most companies like AAA or so on that have taken over an hour sometimes just to come get you and your stranded vehicle off the side of the freeway. On top of that, however, you also get a complimentary Carfax, which is quite a benefit in a lot of people's cases because you usually have to ask for the Carfax on any used vehicle. But on top of that, your first day rental car, so let's say your car comes in for service and you have to get a loaner vehicle and you have to actually pay for it, the first day that you have that loaner vehicle is completely covered underneath the certified pre-owned program. So already you've got quite a lot of factors that actually go into a certified pre-owned vehicle. But being a used car doesn't usually have any problems. Well, the first thing most people will want to do with a car like this is you want to drive it. You want to hear how the engine sounds. You want to hear how things work. So a certified pre-owned vehicle has to run like a new one. So does this 2014 Elantra run like a new car? Well, it doesn't whine, it doesn't knock, and it still purrs just like a kitten. This one here, as I mentioned, has done 16,144 miles, and it's currently going right now for less than $18,000, an almost $3,000 savings out the door over the 2015 across the way. But is buying a certified pre-owned vehicle any better than buying a brand new car? Let's head on over to the 2015 and find out. So now let's say for instance, you've made the decision that you really wanna spend the most money you can and buy the best thing that you can afford. So you go ahead and buy the brand new 2015 Elantra compared to the 2014 that we just saw. So what advantages are you getting buying this brand new car compared to the used one? Well, for a start, mileage. This one here has only done 10 miles. So it is still fresh as a daisy and it's ready to go. Now, you are going to pay a little bit more for a car like this. Of course, that being said, you are still going to be the very first owner. So that means nobody else has driven it, you're not inheriting somebody else's problems, and anything that goes wrong with this car is going to be a factory problem, or just a normal wear and tear problem, versus somebody's car that's already been driven and already probably incurred said issues. Also, on top of this, you pretty much have every warranty you can think of that comes with a brand new car. Like I said with the certified pre-owned car, every Hyundai comes with a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. So already your engine, your transmission, and all the mechanical movement components are already covered. There are a couple of other additional warranties um, that go with the vehicle, and that's all explained by the dealership and also can be seen on Hyundai's website with uh, every applicable vehicle. Now, also, you don't have scratches, dings, dents, you don't really have any bodywork or, me or uh, mechanical woes that you have to worry about with a used vehicle. Sometimes used cars, they're mistreated, they, they don't drive properly, something. So with a brand new car, you know that every mile, every ding, every dent, anything that happens to your vehicle, whether cosmetically or mechanically, is all you're doing or perhaps somebody else is doing. If you get a door ding, for example, and are in a shopping, car, uh, or in a, uh, shopping mall parking lot and somebody throws their door into the side of your car. I, of course, would be very upset with that, but that's beside the point. So you've got the full warranties, you got a brand new car, but you've paid more. So really, are you really happy with your choice? Well, for most people, they would probably say yes. You have a brand new car. You have the ability to brag and say that you bought a brand new car. But the question still remains, is it really worth it to you? We wanna know what you guys think. Would you rather buy a brand new car, having heard what you can get from a certified pre-owned car, or would you rather take the cheaper option and buy the certified pre-owned car instead? Let us know what you think. 
Again, this has been Grand Prix GTP 02 here, up here at Humble Hyundai. I want to thank all of the folks here at the dealership for allowing us to uh, take both of these cars for the day and allowing you to get another up close and personal and informative viewing from the folks here at Humble Hyundai. Until then, guys, I hope you've had a great time and I will see all of you again another time. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.